The Bible, the History Channel series that is scoring blockbuster ratings with more than 13 million people tuning in. The producers now saying there were miracles on the set and it took a leap of faith to get this retelling of the Bible onto TV, but now it has turned into solid gold. God warned me. He told me to build a boat. It has floods, plagues, and even romance. This is wrong. This morning, the Bible, once called the greatest story ever told, now has some of the greatest ratings ever seen on cable, all thanks to the History Channel's new miniseries of the same name. This is not your grandfather's Bible. You know, everyone seems to be good looking. There's big production values. The epic 10-part series, which airs through Easter, is now being flooded with viewers. 13 million on its first night alone, making it the most watched entertainment program on cable. They want us dead. Among the show's faithful followers, celebrities like LL Cool J, Lisa Rinna, even Oprah Winfrey, who couldn't stop tweeting about the show while it aired Sunday night. Mary, did you know? Even one of the series featured songs performed by R&B superstar CeeLo Green is giving the old book a new attitude. But the making of this TV juggernaut is something of a David and Goliath story of its own. <laughs> Reality producing genius Mark Burnett and his wife, actress Roma Downey, recently told Elizabeth Vargas that despite their star power, they were forced to film with a limited budget. Most journalists are saying to us, how could you have only spent 20 million? And this we is have brought big. miracles to life on the screen. Yeah. Burnett says there were miracles behind the scenes too. At one point, he says the actor playing Jesus Jesus read the line, the Holy Spirit is like the wind. At that moment, Burnett says, a wind almost blew the set over and sustained for 20 seconds across the desert. Everyone just looked at everyone like, what just happened? Divine intervention? Perhaps. But what is clear is that the series is a godsend for the one struggling History Channel. And if you're one of the few who hasn't tuned in to see it, it is not too late yet. Part three of the five-part series airs next Sunday night.